Hey, once again, my name is Ivan, the oldest chicken best friend. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Wawiza Farm. Thank you, my subscribers, for subscribing to my YouTube channel, liking my videos, commenting, and also sharing. And please, if this is your first time to reach out to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Alright, within this video, I have brought for you a topic about vermiculture. And vermiculture, this is whereby farmers rear earthworms specifically for to feed them to poultry because in the poultry industry farmers are facing a lot of challenges within feeds more money is being spent in feeds but within this video i'm going to be showing you how to eradicate that problem of wasting money into feeds right within this video as i've told you that in, this is not the main video but this is my introduction video on the journey i'm going to take you through with of vermi culture so i'm going to be showing you i'm going to be telling you the requirements the procedures to make the beddings or the bins for those earthworms where they are supposed to be grown uh, the ideal environment and everything all right with me here i have my settings so i'm going to be showing you how to use them the requirements which you are supposed to be with so that you rare when you raise earthworms for your poultry because when you rear earthworms indeed you can minimize the feeds you can minimize costs spent on feeds with me here i have my settings i have joy can which i got uh, the main advantage of practicing this vermiculture that tip uh, it is very cheap to practice earthworms are readily available in the environment so with this setup you can rear your earthworms to fit your poultry because earthworms have proteins which is a crucial element a crucial thing for poultry to grow so i also have newspapers i'm going to use these newspapers to i'm going to shade them break or break break them and put them here into these beddings i'm going to make a bedding in the ideal environment with a good ecosystem for the earthworms to grow in remember earthworms don't have teeth so which means you the farmer you are supposed to provide those ideal environment those good conditions the ecosystem or the ecology so that those environments within that building within this building so that they break back those materials which we are going to put in so these beddings i'm going to be putting them here and these things so that my atoms Atoms don't require sophisticated materials to rear them because atoms will eat anything you provide to them be it leftovers, greens, uh, anything from the chicken apart from apart from onions, garlic and other things. In the coming videos I'll be telling you the reason as to why atoms don't need those things and I'm going to be telling you the pests, the diseases that attack earthworms in the coming video. Thank you for watching me without this video. Thank, thank you so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any video that I upload. And also, if you have any question about anything concerning farming, concerning agriculture, please don't hesitate to comment. To put them in the comment section. I'll be, I'll be responding to you as soon as possible because I know everything about farming and agriculture. Thank you. Thank you so much.